so in this video i want to talk about to something that a lot of people ask that is increasing sperm count easy or a difficult many times people feel helpless when they see a report showing low sperm count or a poor motility i understand it feels frustrating even hopeless like maybe nothing will work but let me share a real story to give you some hope we had a patient whose sperm count was only 10 million per ml on the top of that the motility was zero and the morphology was almost completely poor this means the sperm could not swim properly or reach the egg and the ones that could were not shaped well enough to fertilize it it is tough situation because even through 10 million sperm might be sound like a whole lot in reality it is considered very low for healthy fertility and when motility and morphology are poor too it makes conceiving naturally almost impossible imagine the sperm starting the journey but getting too tired or giving up halfway this is what happens in such cases but here is the good part after 5 months of treatment the sperm count improved to 42 million per ml with 50% motility and better morphology now the patient's fertility has improved to the point where the conception is possible just for reference a healthy sperm count starts from 50 million per ml and motility should have ideally 40 to 50% active sperm count seeing this kind of improvement in 5 months is not just a good it is a life changing for the patients and their family now i know many people feel impatience they want results fast maybe within a few days or a weeks but let me tell you it does not happen overnight the body needs time to heal and respond you see the process of sperm development called the spermatogenesis takes about uh, 90 days after that we start seeing if things are improving so if it took 5 to 5.5 months for this patient that is because it is a natural process your body works at its own place and the treatment takes time to show results i also want to address another fear many people have what if the treatment does not work it is true not every treatment works the same for everyone sometimes we need to adjust approaches based on their personal health for example if someone has issues like stomach problems digestive issues or ibs then treatment can take more time than normal because their medicine is not a suiting them or their body is not absorbing it properly that is why i always emphasis that before treating the problem you need to address the root cause behind the issues for these reasons it is so important to share your full medical history with your doctors and tell them about any side effects you noticed for anyone dealing with fertility issue it is normal to feel scared ashamed or even frustrated but remember these feelings are part of the process and you are not alone whether it is a through diet changes herbal remedies or a medicines there is a always hope to improve sperm health you just need to be patient and consistent if you have found this video helpful or relatable please like it and feel free to share your thoughts or a question in the comments remember you are not alone in this journey and together we can work towards solutions i will see you in the next video take care and goodbye